First, it bore a sad end to the story of a lost whale. The one that was stranded on the sandbar in the Elizabeth River yesterday has died. We were hoping that he'd make it out okay, but you're uh, looking now at some of the video that we've captured here from that southern branch of the river. Uh, this is a live shot now. Biologists trying to figure out what to do next. It's a different scene from yesterday when Chopper 10 was above the 40 foot say whale while it was still alive. Thousands of you were glued to your televisions and our web stream watching this live. It played out near the Gimbleton Bridge in Chesapeake. Well, this morning it turned up not far from the bridge in a place called called St. Julian's Creek. 10 on your side's Aaron Kelly has been in touch with marine biologists all day. Aaron, what's the next step in this process? Well, I can show you behind me here. This is where the whale is um, at the shoreline, and there are two boats out here with lines coming off their sterns here that are going to be attached to the whale, and they will work to tow this whale to Craney Island, and that's where a team will examine it, try to find out how it died. We know someone spotted it out here uh, just before 10 a.m. today, and when we arrived, the whale wasn't moving at all here in St. Julian's Creek. The Virginia Aquarium Stranding Response Team did confirm that it had died. Today, they took blood and tissue samples of the 40 foot say whale, which we know had been swimming in circles in the Elizabeth River. Chopper 10 showed it stuck on a sandbar near Gilmerton Bridge last night. We come out last night and seen it was stranded down the creek here. And uh, when I come out of the creek this morning to run down the creek and pull some pots, it, uh, it was it had moved. And the team says the whale is thin. It had seemed disoriented. They have been checking on it for about a week. And now we know that a NOAA certified UNC Wilmington team will do the exam to find out how this whale died. And that is expected to take all of tomorrow. For now, we're live in Portsmouth. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. Well, you can see our previous coverage of this story on wavy.com, including extended video from Chopper 10. Just look for this story on the news page.